Josh from Trail Built, you have a yes. package here. Ooh. Looks like what a is wheel. It? A wheel? Oh boy. Hope it's my race line. Thank you, sir. So a couple days ago, I had ordered an Allied beadlock to uh, check them out, basically. I wanted to see what the hype was all about. Uh, I did order the steel ones because I'm looking at putting a set on the Scout. So I wanted to check them out. So I'm hoping that's what showed up today. It looks like from the shipping that it was scheduled to be here today. So we're going to go ahead and check it out. Hopefully it is. Oh boy. Uh, I think these are it. My allied beadlocks. So looking at the unboxing, I'm actually surprised there's no extra foam protecting these outer lips. But it is steel, they are pretty sturdy. Looks like this coating may be like an under like a powder coating. I'm guessing this is probably gonna be the hardware instructions. So here we go. It's kind of heavy, obviously, being that it is a steel beadlock. We do have a little bit of additional hardware with beadlocks in general, whether it's steel or aluminum. Just on initial inspection here, looking at this, um, it's definitely pretty heavy duty. I mean, I'm, I'm guessing this is probably like a, about a quarter inch thick inner wall here. So let's go ahead and get these off of here. If you don't know the advantages of a beadlock, one of the things that it's gonna do is allow you to air down further than what you normally could with a regular aluminum wheel or a steel wheel or a conventional wheel. With a beadlock, it will pinch that rubber bead in between this rock ring and the wheel itself. So the bead will actually sit right here. And then when you bolt this ring on with 32 bolts, uh, grade eight hardware, of course, uh, it's gonna pinch that bead in between the wheel and the ring itself. The one major disadvantage, however, with beadlocks is that they are not DOT legal. Um, in most states, they're not DOT legal. And the reason being is that uh, the DOT does not like anything mechanical holding the tire on the wheel. So we just want to do a quick video of unboxing this. It's a Raceline Allied. It's the RT81, uh, also known as the Rockathon Steel Beadlock. You can find them on our website. It's trailbuiltoffroad.com. We're going to go look at ordering some aluminum beadlocks. Not quite sure which ones yet, but we don't. We definitely want to do a comparison video between the two to show you guys what the differences are. and. Uh, and that should be a pretty interesting video. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button. That way you guys can hold on to the ride with us. And as always, we appreciate all of you for watching. I'm Josh from Trailbuilt. We'll see you guys out on the trails.